गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन माई सेल्फ डॉक्टर दीप्ति आई एम सेकेंड ईयर रेजिडेंट इन डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ रेडियो डायग्नोसिस इन मुजफ्फरनगर मेडिकल कॉलेज एंड हॉस्पिटल टूडे आई एम प्रेजेंटिंग माई पेपर ऑन द टॉपिक ऑफ रोल ऑफ मल्टी डिटेक्टर सी टी इन इवेलुएशन ऑफ निक मार्सिस Neck masses are frequently encountered in general population and hospital, and they can be diagnostic challenge in patient of any age. Neck masses include a spectrum of lesion of diverse origin and etiology. The clinical investigation alone is limited to accurately assess the extent as well as the size of the head and neck tumors, specifically submucosal extension of disease and extent extent of the nodal metastasis. The CT provide indispensable information about the deep extension of clinically detected masses. It may delineate at additional clinical unsuspected lesions the application of multi detector ct has resulted in improved resolution as well as significant decrease in the scan acquisition time the other benefits are improved temporal resolution into arterial and the venous phases volume acquisition of the data enabling a convenient retrospective reconstruct reconstructions isotropic viewing and unlimited reformations leading to the increased lesion conspicuity CT has found as an increased application in the evaluation of the neck masses both congenital and acquired neck masses are broadly divided into the two groups nodal masses and the non nodal masses nodal masses may be neoplastic or reactive in nature the non nodal masses include the congenital inflammatory neuronal neoplastic vascular and mesenchymal origin it is important to differentiate a malignant lesion Uh, from the benign lesion early and precise diagnosis help in choosing the line of management either surgical or conservative depending on the type of the lesion and location which help in uh, reducing the mortality and morbidity hence the imaging modality that we use should have high sensitivity and specificity this study is an effort to assess the role of multi detector ct in evaluation of the neck masses and thus help in delineating further course of the management now material and method the study was conducted in radio diagnosis department of muzaffarnagar medical college in 60 patients of all age who presented with the neck masses in a study patient having complain of neck mass and incidentally diagnosed neck mass on the mdct uh, was included patient unwilling to take part in study pregnant females patient with a de uh, deranged renal function test patient with the neck masses on the radiotherapy and post operative patient of the neck masses were excluded informed written consent was taken the patient was kept uh, on empty stomach for 4 to 6 hours before performing the scan and check for the renal function test patient should be in supine position with the neck uh, mildly hyper extended so that the palate was roughly perpendicular to the table top patient was scanned with a quiet breathing and swallowing suspended using 16 slice simons ct scan and non ionic contrast media contrast enhanced scans were performed spirally scanning converted the uh, region from uh, covered the region from the base of the skull to the fourth thoracic vertebra using the 2 mm sections uh, thickness and 1 mm increment statistical methods are the result are uh, presented in mean standard deviation and percentage the chi square test was Uh, used to compare the categorical variables the sensitivity specificity positive predictive negative predictive value and the accuracy of the mdct was calculated the p value less than 0.05 was considered significant uh, all the analysis were carried out on the spss 16 version this was the first case uh in this image we can see the axial uh, ct scan image uh, showing the multi located non enhancing thin walled cystic lesion in the left posterior cervical space aborting the sternocleidomastoid muscle anteriorly and left lobe of thyroid medially features are more likely consistent with the lymphangioma in second case we can see the well defined uh, uh, well defined soft tissue density mass lesion in the left masticator space it shows the multiple uh, mild heterogeneous enhancement and a hyper dense calcified focus within the ct findings were consistent with the benign neoplastic etiology more likely with the pleomorphic adenoma histopath was uh, also showing the pleomorphic adenoma one case of the pleomorphic adenoma was misdiagnosed as a malignant on the ct which was proven as benign on the fnac third case uh, in this we can see the right oropharyngeal mod moderately enhanced ill defined mass centered on the right tonsillar fossa laterally the lesion infiltrate the right parapharyngeal space and abort the right uh, lateral pterygoid muscle with loss of the intervening fat plane ct findings favors the malignant neoplastic etiology more likely tonsillar carcinoma and the histo histology shows the tonsillar squamous cell carcinoma 
in this we can see the axial uh, contrast enhanced images in which we can see all uh, ill defined heterogeneously enhancing lesion involved uh, right, involving the right lobe of thyroid and isthmus supporting the right sternocleidomastoid muscle anteriorly and adjacent trachea anteromedially and esophagus posteromedially with the loss of the intervening fat plane suggestive of neoplastic etiology likely anaplastic carcinoma of the thyroid uh, in the third image, we can see the enhancing filling defect due to the infiltration of the lesion in the right internal jugular vein due to the tumor thrombosis. Histopath shows the poorly differentiated carcinoma that was uh, uh, that was compatible with the anaplastic thyroid carcinoma. In this case, we can see a large faintly enhancing soft tissue density lesion in the right supraclavicular region and the lesion was excised and confirmed to be a neurofibroma. In this, we can see a infective collection, a poorly defined, irregularly shaped peripherally enhancing lesion noted in the left peripheral space extending inferiorly to the left carotid prevertebral posterior cervical space. In this case, we can see a large poorly defined heterogeneous enhancing iso to hyperdense lesion with the multiple uh, multiple necrotic areas seen noted involving the retromolar trigone and base of the tongue on the right side and large lymph nodes uh, with the necrotic center are noted uh, in the bilateral jugular chain histopathology shows the polymorphous low grade carcinoma of the palate Result, more, uh, more than one third of the cases were between 40 to 50 years of age and majority of the cases were male Clinical complaint, all the patient presented with the swelling, pain was associated with swelling in 66% of the cases and fever and dysphagia were other associated symptoms. One patient may have more than one uh, complaint. Now, final diagnosis and the CD diagnosis. As we have discussed, the neck masses can be nodal and the non nodal. Nodal mass in our study consistent with the tubercular adeno adenopathy seen in 11 cases and correctly diagnosis in all the 11 cases on the CT. Nodal metastases were present in six cases and uh, correctly diagnosed on CT in five cases and incorrectly diagnosed on CT in one case. Lymphoma was present in three cases and correctly diagnosed in all the three cases. No nodal masses include the salivary gland lesions. Pleomorphic adenoma is present in six, case, six cases and correctly diagnosed in five cases. And uh, a different diagnosis was seen in one case. Uh, Calculus-induced sialadenitis was seen in two cases cases and correctly diagnosed in two cases. Masses of the developmental origin are the lymphangioma and the thyroglossal cyst. Uh, they both were correctly diagnosed in all the cases on the CT and thyroid mass include the multinodular goiter seen in four cases and correctly diagnosed in all the four cases. Papillary carcinoma of thyroid was, pre was present in one case and uh, that was incorrectly diagnosed on the CT. Anaplastic carcinoma of thyroid was present in one case and that is correctly diagnosed on the CT. <clears throat> Now, the mass of the neurogenic origin were, were schwannoma, paraganglioma, and neurofibroma. Uh, these all were correctly diagnosed on CT. Uh, tonsillar carcinoma, tons tonsillar lesions include the tonsillar carcinoma and the tonsillar abscess. They uh, all were correctly diagnosed on CT. Palatal lesions were uh, palatine carcinoma present in one case and correctly diagnosed on CT. Inflammatory masses were parapharyngeal and the paravertebral abscess. They were also correctly diagnosed on the CT. Dermoid uh, cyst and the lipoma were also correctly diagnosed on the CT. The number of patients included in the study were 60. Uh, CT analysis of these lesions revealed 48 cases, that is 80% of the cases were benign lesions and 12, that is 20% of the lesions were malignant. Uh, histologically, uh, an histopathological analysis of these lesions revealed 47 uh, cases were benign lesions and uh, 13 cases were malignant lesions. In our study, out of 60 patients, there were 20, that is 33.3% has the nodal masses and 40 cases, that is 66.6% .6 has the known nodal masses. Sensitivity, specificity, positive predictive value, negative predictive value, and the accuracy of the MDCT scan to differentiate between the benign and the malignant lesion is compared with the histopathology and were, uh, sensitivity was 
84%, specificity was 97.8%, positive predictive value was 91.6%, negative predictive value was 95.4%, uh, 95.8%, 95 accuracy was 95%. Association of histological uh, diagnosis with diagnosis on the CT scan was analyzed using a chi-square test. The significant association was noted uh, between the two diagnoses as the p-value is less than 0.05. Certain imaging parameters like enhancement of the lesion, homogeneous and heterogeneous, absence or the presence of the vascular or the bony invasion were used to define each lesion in the study. On the basis of these characteristics, the lesion were classified as the malignant and the benign. The benign lesion shows the homogeneous enhancement without any significant necrosis and involvement of the adjacent structure, be it bone or vascular. However, malignant lesion shows the heterogeneous enhancement with necrosis and bony invasion and extension into the adjacent structure spaces is in all is almost in all the malignant lesions malignant nature of the lymph nodes can be accurately predicted on the multi slice ct in all patient with the radiological finding of the round contour absence of hilum eccentric cortical thinning ill defined margins with loss of the intervening fat planes to the adjacent structures Discussion. Imaging uh, plays a major role in diagnosis and planning the treatment in the patient with the neck masses. It is non-invasive, non-operator dependent and allows the precise measurement of the tissue at innovation coefficient. However, spiral CT increases the examination quality, reducing the sedation time and require low <clears throat> radiation dose. Multi-slice spiral CT using the multi-detector uh, rose in the latest is the latest development in the CT technology. Use of multiple detector rows allows a faster scanning and thinner collimation. Multi-detector CT permits the rapid scanning of the large volume of the tissue uh, during the quiet respiration. Spiral images have less susceptible to the patient motion and compared to the conventional CT. However, image noise is somewhat increased. Volumetric helical data allows the optimal multi-planner as well as three-dimensional reconstructions. Moreover, uh, spectacular, spectacular CT and geogram may be uh, produced with the data. Conclusion, the accuracy of MDCT to predict the benign and the malignant lesion of the neck masses was observed to be high, that is 95%. These were my references. Thank you.